Hello, my name is Brad Eichens with Bobars Archery. Uh, I want to make a quick video to show you how Bobars work, what they are, and what you'd expect if you were to order one. Uh, Bobars are a nice wallet sized portable bow vise uh, for the traveling archer, whether you're shooting tournaments or out west hunting, um, and you, you want to just take along a piece of equipment that can, uh, can help you with leveling and uh, give you that peace of mind to know your bow is perfectly set up. Um, being wallet size, it's got a nice little carrying case. You can just slide the slide the pieces right out. Uh, you got your bottom bar, you got your top bar, and it comes with a through bolt with through knob that screws into the end. It also comes with a bolt on the other end, which is used for a solid limbo. And then there's also an O-ring in the middle to keep the top plate from sliding off of the through bolt when you have it put together. Now, if you order the basic kit or the complete kit, you're gonna get a ball head with it. It's gonna come with a little puck to non-mar any surface that you're gonna mount it to, like a, um, a table in a hotel or a picnic table or something like that, and you don't wanna mar the bottom side. Um, you can just take that and clamp it to any surface that's up to two inches thick. You just screw the bottom on, tighten her down. You're good. And then you take your bottom bar. Bottom bar has four holes in it. Uh, the two middle holes are for a split limbo and the two side holes would be used if you have a solid limbo. Uh, you take the offset hole, not the center hole, and you thread that onto your ball head. Uh, these threads are quarter 20, meaning they'll fit on any tripod uh, for photography or videoing. Um, it's a standard ISO or ASTM, one of the two, can't remember, but it is a, a must have for them. So once you get it on there and get it tightened down, you can move the ball head around. Uh, Usually I position it a little bit, uh, not quite flat, so that way when I put my bow on there, it's kind of at an angle already and the bow sits more straight up and down. Tighten it down a little bit, and we would assemble our top plate by running the through bolt through, putting the O-ring on the bottom. You only need to thread it down a, a little ways. Uh, if you thread it all too far, it, the through knob won't tighten down as well. So just put it on there maybe a quarter inch or so. Then we take our bow, and to position our bow, we just take it and set it on the the bow bars, um, making sure that the center hole is in the middle of the split limbs. And take your top plate and take the through bolt and run it into the hole, and tighten her down all the way. Uh, it'll bottom out on the, the bottom uh, plate where the, it attaches to your ball head. So once that's bottomed up, you take your through knob and tighten that guy up. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then your bow is sitting on there. Um, in order to move it, you can loosen up the ball head move it around whichever way you need, left, right, up or down. Um, we found that if you take and put a little tension on it, you can set it. So now, now it's got tension on it, so it's just sitting there, but you can still move it by just giving it a little pressure to get that fine adjustment there. Uh, ball head's a little bit more intuitive than some of the locking pin systems out on the market. That's why we went with this. Um, we also have 3D printed levels that are just cheap levels. Um, to get you started with tuning, these each cost about, uh, I think it's $8 for the, the uh, string level, $8 for the sight level, and $6.99 or $7 for the arrow level. Um, nice light, light, lightweight ones. If you want to upgrade to CNC machined ones, those are available on the market from Hamski or other uh, manufacturers that do a great job with that. Um, in order to attach the string level to the, to the string, you just put it on here, give it a, a few wraps with the serving that's provided. Um, and then you serve in the top by just giving one knot around the string and it sits on there nicely. I'll kind of give a close up of the levels here once I get them tied. There we go. Uh, the sight level, uh, I use a black gold sight which has a nice mounting spot for this, uh, for this sight level. It's got a nice flat spot. Uh, if you have a different sight or different, uh, configuration and you need a different site level or any level of period just let us know we can manufacture one since they're 3d printed it takes about a day to print uh, 10 of them so um, design process doesn't take very long as well so if you need something else just let us know we can uh, put it together for you so that would be the the split limb version I'll put together the solid limb version really quick just so that way you can see that as well I'll give a close-up of kind of uh, the end result when I get there. So we'll fast forward to that so you don't have to watch me take this all apart and put the other one up here.
The saw limb version uses the bolt that was provided in the holding case. So you just unthread that guy. There's just a slight taper inside of these, these holes that holds it in there. Uh, so it's not threaded or anything. It's not real tight. It just fits snugly in there. Um, the uh, bolt is a 532nd Allen, or you can use a number four if you don't have standard Allens and you just have metric with you. Um, but that should be the same as all of your other bow accessories. It's a standard Allen key. Uh, to, put the, to put the bow bars on there, you'll take and remove the bolt from the center hole. And we're gonna just remove the whole thing. We don't really need our O-ring for this step. So we'll take and put the solid limbo on there, take our plate, and we're gonna put lay it over top of it. I'm gonna put the inch and a quarter bolt through, and that will go down into the bottom plate. We'll just thread it on there a little ways. You don't need to go all the way down, just tight for now until we get the other side on there. So now that that's on there, you'll want to take your through knob and through bolt and run that on the other side and get it lined up with the hole on the other side. Tighten that down, and now you just kind of walk your way down to clamp the solid limbo in there. So you'll run the uh, run the through knob a little ways, and then you might take your Allen keys and run the Allen bolt in. Just walk your way down to it. It's not quite as fast as the solid or split limb version, where you can just run it through the middle and tighten one knob and you're done. Uh, but it will allow you to attach it to a solid limb bow. Get that guy down. Keep threading this guy. And there, it's nice and attached on there. And you can spin it around, do whatever you need to. It will hold a bow sideways, so if you wanted to work on it completely sideways, you can spin it all the way around. I right, got the bow a little too close to my display bench here, so there. Now we can work on it completely sideways. It's a very light bow, so Matthews DXT probably weighs about four and a half, five pounds, maybe. Uh, the my eight pound bow or my Matthews V3 is eight pounds. Um, I have had that completely sideways. It is a little bit bouncy out on the end, um, but you're you're working with a pretty long axle to axle with 31. I mean, some of the target bows though with 40, I, you might be pushing it. Uh, but I have had it with the quiver and all my stabilizers on there before. And it does all right. Um, but if you're going to be working on it mostly vertical, we would uh, you'd be just fine. You don't have to worry about it since all the load will be transferred into the head straight down. So but that is how you mount. Uh, how you use your ball head and your bow vise and yeah hope you uh hope you order one up if you have any questions let us know uh you can contact us on social media or call us text us with the number provided on the website uh, we also have a messaging app on the website uh, it's just me getting back to you so it might take a few days or a few hours depending on uh, how busy it gets but uh but yeah if you have any questions let me know i appreciate it